What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to roll back or how to downgrade your WordPress version, plugin version or WordPress theme version, okay? So before anything, let me share you with you some potential example of why you should downgrade your version. Let's imagine that you do update WordPress to the 6th version that does not exist just yet, but you update your WordPress to the 6th version and one of your favorite and most important plugins on your site stop working to this version because the plugin developer did not update it and make it compatible with WordPress 6 just yet. And this is a potential scenario that can happen and usually happens but you already updated your WordPress to the 6th version, so what to do? You can downgrade the WordPress version, and the same can happen for plugins, for themes. For example, some months ago, WordPress, a popular WordPress plugin called WooCommerce did update updated, and it breaks lots of the stores, breaks some servers, some sites crash it, and this is really bad. Lots of people with problems on WP Org forum. So what to do? You can simply downgrade the WooCommerce plugin version. And there is a way to downgrade manually installing. You need to delete the files, find the older version, upload your site like a new plugin. But it's a quite risky and complicated and time consuming process. So into this video, we're gonna learn the simple way to do this, okay? The best and most recommended way. Whoever, as I used to tell, there's no free launch. So this option present on this video only works with WordPress.org. So WordPress.org plugins and themes and WordPress.org version as well. So. Before anything, please subscribe this channel because we bring new videos every single week and more and more tutorials and guides and I share my knowledge in WordPress after 10 years developing and creating sites and providing support. So I'm here anytime. You can use the comment section if you have any question. I'm here to help, okay? So first of all, go to our WordPress and we're gonna be using this plugin, okay? It's a very, very useful plugin for a very popular developer, the GiveWP. There is the guys from Give WordPress plugin, a popular donation plugin. So, WP Rollback, this is the plugin, okay? It's well hated, it's well updated, there's thousands of sites using it. And you will always remember of this plugin in the case that you update something and your site simply break, okay? This is the best solution possible for this issue, okay? So, go to our WordPress dashboard, and once into the dashboard, we're gonna navigate to plugins, okay? So, into plugins, add new. <laughs> and right here, into the plugins list, into the top right corner field, we're gonna type the plugin name, so, WP Rollback. And here is our favorite, We're gonna be clicking right here into the install now button, okay? The plugin is already installed. The time that it takes for plugin installation changes according to your host performance, okay? So click on activate button. And here is our plugin. We have the deactivate and rollback. As soon as you use to click into the activate button into the plugins installation page, you're gonna be redirected to this plugins page, okay? This is a list of our plugins present on every single WordPress installation, okay? So what did changes? If you review, for example, the our borderless plugin by Visual Modo, there is an add-on plugin for Elementor and WP Bakery that applies custom elements for those plugins. Let's imagine that this plugin had some problem after some update and you would like to roll it back to downgrade this plugin version. The actual version is 1.3.5, okay? But if you click right here into the rollback, 
Let me show you what happens. We can view change log if you hover over the version, but we can see a list of every single version of this plugin, okay? And if I click right here, I can select one of those versions. I'm gonna select the 1.3.4, whoever there is all of the versions listed right here, okay? So I'm gonna be selecting this one and click on the rollback button. Are you sure that you want to perform the following rollback? Plugin name, it's the borderless, the installed version, and the new version. Note, we strongly recommend you create a backup of your WordPress file and database prior to perform rollback. So, in the case that you're gonna be performing a rollback, uh, we do recommend that you rise a website backup. If you are not experienced, and need some help, we have a video tutorial into the Visual Moro YouTube channel showing how to back up your site. There's no secret, you just need to play and follow, okay? So, after having a backup, click into this button, okay? Unpacking the package, installing the version, Removing the old version. And here we go. This is the version now installed. You can see that there's a notice for the update. However, we're not gonna be updating the plugin because we want to keep this outdated until the the potential issue can be fixed. And this is just an example. There is no actual issue with the actual version of Borderless, okay? But another important thing to remember. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here. But if you do not see this link, just type the automatic updates and visual model on YouTube and you're gonna find our video. There is an option right here into our right side called enable auto updates and you need to disable this okay so if you have enabled automatic updates for this plugin and you try to roll it back to downgrade wordpress after some hours gonna be updating it automatically and you're gonna lose your job of downgrading it so make sure that you did not have enabled the automatic ver updated updates for this plugin okay Normally, the WooCommerce is one that in every single big update <laughs> creates lots of problems. Maybe because it's used by lots of sites, but there's no bad. Their developers are awesome. They created a really, really important tool for the world. However, after some updates, some site breaks and there's no problem on it. It's because it's why, what we do and it's because of this that we are working right here, okay? so. Let's imagine that WooCommerce had some problem and you need to downgrade it to version 6.3.0. And it's exactly the same process, okay? No secret, simple as that. But now, how to downgrade your WordPress theme version? Go to your WordPress dashboard, appearance, themes. click on your team and if you review the bottoms into the bottom of your site carefully into the right down corner you can see the rollback button click on it and here is a list with all our visual model and zoo wordpress team version if you select another version and click to rollback exactly it happens exactly into the same method no secret and your team is already downgraded simple as this and it is I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question, okay? I'm gonna leave three links into the description of this video with stars icons and in the first comment fix it into this video as well. One is for a cheap WordPress hosting where you can start your online business and your site presentation gaining a free domain if you purchase the hosting service from this link. Another one is for a performance website hosting for bigger sites like e-commerce for example that needs real performance and you can purchase and gain free trails and free things using the link and another one is for creative market where you can download design assets for example themes, plugins, photoshop templates, images, icons and every single part of graphic design or web design or web development coding for free every single week okay so it is don't forget to check out the visualmodo.com portfolio of amazing wordpress themes you can download our enzo team for free or borderless plugin for free and follow us on instagram facebook twitter it's all visual Moto. and i see you later all the best